You're also looking at that. I'll go to the intro. I need to do the sinking first. And you up in 3, 2, 1, up. And you down in 3, 2, 1, down. And you up in 3, 2, 1, up. Then you down in 3, 2, 1, down. Alright, let's get this thing rolling. Rosalina found me sneaking around her bedroom. And now she made me sleep on the floor. But it's still in the bedroom, so it's, it's nice. <laughs> All of these intros of the bedroom is just going to be loot, ain't it? So, uh, welcome back for more Super Mario Galaxy. This is an interesting one. And now, last time we did the Gusty Garden Galaxy, completed everything that we could complete, but as of course, there is a comet that needs to be getting, but it's not there right now. And we're gonna go to the Freeze Flame Galaxy, yes! This is absolutely one of my favorites because, obviously... Okay, well, not nah, obviously because there's not... <laughs> I, I don't have my likes and dislikes in the list. But this one is cool because it literally is cool. The Frozen Peak of Baron Burr. This level is kind of interesting to me and kind of memorable to me. For two reasons. First of all, I think our first me new mechanic in country this, uh, though not really, we didn't encounter before. We have ice skating. And it's so smooth, it's so good. So this mechanic is really just you're skating and you move your direction the way you want to go. So this, this really beats like, you know, ice physics a lot. It's just really nice skating and being based around this movement, this movement pattern. But yeah, this is just skating. You can still spin while moving. Um, you can just spin to start skating again. You can do a little twirl job. It's just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Also, little guess no mechanic. If you press like the grandpa button, you'll start to skate backwards, which is not is a pretty cool detail, detail detail but your controls don't change but it might be bad for your eyes because it will feel like different controls and it really isn't it's really the same thing just here backwards hey old man are you practicing how to ski too why don't you why don't we play a game can you catch me and mario just stays there like giving Giving like I'll give you a 30 seconds head start. Don't worry. I I think he said something. I'm gonna see. How could one penguin move so fast? So yeah, this is just a little tutorial to get you used to ice skating. If you can't catch this penguin, you're not allowed to move forward. The game says. And so little Johnny could never beat this game because he could not ever ice skate and catch the penguin. Not bad. This game feels like that. You might have a chance. A small, a, a small chance, maybe, but a chance. Thanks for the vote of confidence. So, for being called Freeze Flame, there's gonna be more freeze than a flame, unless you're saying the flame in my heart, and which very much I really do love this place. With the introduction of ice physics, we have ice physics combat, which is really just the same thing. If you want to stop, it's just a simple ground pound like that, I guess. The one here is really cold. Seriously, if you fall in, it's going to hurt. This is a kind of a throwback to Super Mario 64, where things lag a bit. Things are very jittery. Really, really sweet. I wish I could have more hit points so I can last there longer. Probably in an emulator where I can have infinite health. Uh, but yeah. This started in Super Mario 64, though there was no indicator. Uh, the only indicator was when you did take damage, uh, and you went up to the surface, it wouldn't heal you, and that was supposed to be an oh shit moment. And, of course, it came back in, uh, Odyssey, where, yeah. Uh, we unlocked a new power-up there, but I'm gonna go over here really quick, because... There's a little secret here, if you can get up here. That's redundant, but I don't know how else to say this stuff. And speaking of getting more hit points... And, a, I guess, a life. Oh, I missed it. Uh, we have a new power-up! Ice Mario, which isn't our first time encountering it, but technically, this might be the first time you would encounter it. With this, we can stand on top of these to create platforms. If you're fast enough, you can get this really quick. Oh, there's also a little hidden thing over there. Oh, crap, that's other- uh, that's another- uh, that's a secret other thing. Uh, with the ice power-up, you can't spin normally. It doesn't count as an extra jump, so... Careful? 
I mean, I don't think there's that really, really that many moments where you're gonna need it like that. But just know that is a thing. And I screwed up entirely. Can I get a refill? Can I get a refill on ice? Also, these things kind of like wobble bubbles. They don't hurt though because you're covered in ice. So very sweet. This is by far just my the, my favorite coolest power up, literally speaking. It's just. Ice Mario. Just everything about that is yes. I think this might be a secret star. So actually, I'm just gonna go kill myself now. I screwed up again! My curiosity knows no bounds. Oh, come on! Back here on the path we're supposed to be on. Which is isn't that that is it isn't that far actually. We have these pushima thingies, which is of course I uh, guess a little nod to Super Mario uh, 64 again. Really really nice. And that actually caused me to question something really quick. Like Odyssey is getting known for being the game that references uh, 64 a lot. I mean, this game. This game is more original than references. I think Odyssey. Well, Odyssey, no. Odyssey is a lot of original. Don't get me wrong, but. But I mean, like, compared to references, Odyssey has a ton compared to uh, Galaxy here. I, I guess, like. That isn't really a bad thing, but it's just a little detail that I've been noticing since playing this once again. I think Galaxy 2 just come uh, just like amps the references though up to like times two. Either way, up here we finally made it to the boss. But just something new, just flashes I see you. Nice music. So we gotta get up there somehow without getting frozen solid, so we have this ice power up. Now, the reason I say this is really memorable is because I had one time, this area right here, I kept missing the coins to grab when I had full health, and one time I got, I was hit and I was down by 1 HP. Uh, so you're just gonna ground pound, avoid that. And now just hit him down, and there you go. Now I gotta go get another power up. Or can't just stay up there, or not anymore. Uh, anyway, I was down hit points and at one. And when I went back to climb, I got hit in the middle of that, knocked me down at zero. But this is the first time ever I actually seen going to zero, but collecting the two coins there and getting healed up back. And I just somehow cheated death, and that was the first time I saw that ever happen. So this this fight was always memorable to me. I wish it was more ice skating, to be honest. But it was something really neat. Ow. No, oh, actually. Before. No, before they... Uh, no, I couldn't make it. Uh, plot though, your ice platforms will stay for a while, so, you know, if you get knocked back down, you can just get back up really easily. Uh, but yeah, I wish it was more ice skating than that, but that's, that's, um, I, I'm fine with this boss. I mean, I'm not completely fond of it, but the only reason I'm kind of remembering about it is because of that moment. Which is alright, but whatever. Nah, why couldn't we keep the ice? Ice Mario is so awesome. Better than B Mario, anyway. A new chapter has been added. We'll go there sometimes, but I want to keep doing some freeze flame. And that level was pretty long. Oh, we got Daredevil coming. It was pretty long. But, you know, <laughs> it was because I had to cut some things. 
Freeze Flames blister Blistering Core. Blistering. Now we're gonna get to more of the flame and less of the freeze. And this is where kind of the genius goes into the game. Kinda. But kinda I mean not at all because this is not the level I was thinking of at all. But either way, I guess this is a nice introduction because I think some of you smart people out there might realize where this level is going to go to next time. Maybe not now. Actually, actually a lot now because we're going to have to finish three levels and I uh, because just to fill up a lot of time. And... I don't know. Uh... Wow, I guess also the first time we're getting both uh, regular star and blue stars, which is kind of cheating. Cheaters. But either way, knocking it down here. I really, really like the music changes there. But either way, new enemies, spike balls, they're invincible. Deal with it. <laughs> that is all I can give you. So yeah, we can't do anything about these guys, we can only avoid them. So going forward though, we have a red mushroom we saw in the cutscene, which is very, very neat. Would love, especially around lava, you know how lava is. And yeah, and they also fill the boxes for you too, yeah. But as you can see right there in the background, they can get burned. The only way they can die is if they voluntarily sacrifice themselves to the lava gods, which are none. So. Just missed blood, probably. Uh, either way, over here though, we have a question mark. And in the pit of the fire gods, we really do know that there is a god because that god's name is Fire <laughs> Mario, and it's Crouch Long Jumping Glory. Less whimsical than ice, but more potent. You can shoot fireballs by spinning, so like ice, your spin powers are also reduced here. And I got hurt, how dare you? All will die towards the fire goal that is Mario. It also, as you notice right there, it also lasts. Last, that was a weird way to say it. It also lasts longer than uh, Ice Mario, so you have a little bit more time to work with. With that lit up, like Zelda, the puzzle is solved. I oh, I thought there was a launch, so I had to launch up. Now that's just gravity. So yeah, Fire Mario is kind of cool, and I kind of cool. I mean, I don't mean he's hot or anything, but. I like I like Ice Mario for movement, Fire Mario is more for damage, and that's just nice. I also really do like that they both have different themes to them. They have the same theme, but it's just you know different remix, kind of like this level, which is really sweet, which is really really sweet. Uh, however, of course, because this was on the Wii, as you all know, this is where Super Mario, New Super Mario Brothers came out. So obviously, that's why. Which. It's not unknown, but it is funny either way. Uh, can I change the camera, please? No. I just have to move around. Fire that pit. <laughs> I had to stop myself from saying that, but yeah, fire that pit. Which is a more of a torch. Uh, but yeah. I'm assuming some Mario's have the ice flower and fire flower idea just there, which is really nice. Though, over there it was just a fire flower clo clone. So, I like more of this one. Oh shoot! So now we, as we encountered from over there, that I didn't mention, uh, these l these platforms you can move them. Just careful moving them too much. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Okay. And we see our goal destination right ahead. You same thing as the ice bubbles, they're just made of fire. Ba, 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 da, shouldn't sing this in case it is not synced to the video. Okay. But I can't help singing. 
first time, not that bad. Also, I'm gonna ruin the streak of getting hit because I'm about to fall off! There. Oh, such close call. Such, such close calls. But no, it's not your do! Oh my god, this game's forgiving. <laughs> I'm sh I was sure that was gonna hit. Uh, can I wall jump this? Ah, uh, Game designers! How much of a bully you guys are. But with that being said, we've gotten our star and level is complete. But there is one star we missed. Er, well, more than one. I, I guess. I mean, I kinda don't want to do it like that, because that would be like two stars missing. I, I'm gonna go off for the comment and finish Gusty. So, I think that that's a good idea, that's what I'm gonna do. Shortcut! Sweet. The Daredevil comment, and I think you know what comment this level is going to apply. Of course. Yes, we know that. Major Burrows Daredevil Run. No hit challenge. And goodness, as we all know from the other boss fights we have to do with no hit runs, it will just smack you right <laughs> into the boss. I think it is the only one, um, the top man? Was that one the only one that we actually have to do the level to? I think. Great start! I forgot, I forgot it doesn't come up until then. Hit him in the belly, this time for real. And now he is angry, so I guess while doing this boss, I, there really isn't that much to say about this, uh, but the bunny, you can see the bunny now is a lot better. Uh, but yeah, we are almost done with this game, with the bedroom being almost, uh, not halfway, no, I'll say one third completed with a lot of the stars. But we're now getting to the nitty gritty good stuff now. I mean, I wouldn't say the other stuff is bad, but it's more like, I don't know? <laughs> It's weird, just like the bedroom has a lot of the galaxies I really like. Like, okay. The, sh the bathroom does have a lot of galaxies that are okay, that I like. Um, of course, the good egg galaxy also has the beginning areas, but this is the first one where now the levels are getting more bigger, harder, and stuff like that, and. Eh. I'm kind of excited to get through the rest. Not hard at all? And I have 50 stars already, over 50 stars. That Gusty is pretty much completed. I mean, for now, of course. For next time, we'll continue off with Freeze Flame, and maybe, including that, we'll discover another galaxy to explore. Until then, just know, Freeze Flame is just Beautiful with the ice flower. I just wish there was more ice flower. I, I think I know there's like more in the sequel game Really like ice flower and odyssey Why couldn't that have been a thing?